care of the helicopter is on air sea rescue patrol. Thomas, who was waiting in a siding for some freight cars, talks to him and is surprised to hear how many dangers there can be at the seaside. For instance, Harold pointed out, you see over there at the bottom of the cliff path? There are two children playing on the beach with a lilo. They could easily get carried out to sea and be in great danger. My pilot says the right thing to do if a dog or person falls over the cliff, he continued, is to find a telephone at once, dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. Never ever try to help on your own. That could just lead to more danger. Tell the Coast Guard where you are and who needs help, and before you can say helicopter blades, I or one of my friends will come to your rescue. That's good to know, laughed Thomas. Then it was time to get going again, so Thomas said goodbye to Harold and shoved off to the harbor yards with his freight cars. Later in the afternoon, the weather started to get stormy. Remembering the children on the Milo, Thomas looked out to see to check they were safe. At first he saw nothing but the sparkling blue water, which was now beginning to get rougher as the wind rose. Then suddenly he saw it. Far out in the distance with the Lilo were the two children clinging to it. They were waving desperately, but as there were very few people about, no one noticed them and the danger they were in. Thomas puffed large bursts of steam into the air. Help! He shouted. At the Air Sea Rescue Center, Harold heard his friend's distress signal. I wonder if Thomas is trying to tell me something, he said. Then he heard it again, more urgently than ever. Help! Sounds like someone in trouble, said Harold's pilot. Soon, Harold was whizzing to the rescue. He reached the children, hovered in the air above them while the winchmen wound the crewmen down on the long wire to reach them. The crewmen lifted the children up and they were soon safe in Harold's comfortable cabin. The children were cold and frightened, but Harold's crew dried them with a towel then wrapped them with warm blankets. The lilo was punctured and brought up into the cabin with them so that it could be safely put away. On his way home after a job well done, Harold flew over the engine shed. Thank you, Thomas, he called. You were a great help. Thomas gave a sleepy. Beep, beep. He hoped the children would never play in the sea with a lilo again. As he fell asleep, he thought, <sighs> After all, it's better to be safe than... Uh, uh.